guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit and what we're doing today because of the whole CrossFit craze that is currently going around and also because the CrossFit Games 2015 are out, we are going to review my Reband knee sleeves which also have been just redone and redesigned for the CrossFit Games 2015. So if you wanted to grab a pair, you know, and you're considering it, um, this hopefully will help you to make a decision on whether to buy them or not. So you've got them here. Here are the Ray-Bans in red. Okay, so you can get the Ray-Bans themselves in three millimeters thickness, five millimeters thickness or seven millimeters thickness. Now these ones are actually five millimeters ones and they're also the rich frowning version of the Ray-Ban sleeves, okay? So you see here you got the Ray-Ban going here um, and also the rich frowning emblem going on here. Uh, so I mean they're slightly more uh, expensive if you get the rich frowning series but you know to be honest it doesn't really make it much of a difference. Now my ones I got an M and I will come to the size and how it fits and all of that later. Here you also see them in M. And I got the red and black ones. Now, what you can definitely do is, if you go to the Rayban website, they come in a multitude of colors. So they come in pink and green and cameo in, I don't know what, you know, take your pick. And um, so, I mean, that is all up to you. Now, what you also can see here, the seams are actually quite good. And if you turn them inside out, I'll just show you, to, to show you guys that. You can also see, and now here you go, it is really well made. Okay, so these things are actually made to last. Now, um, how to wash them, I haven't washed them yet, and this is how they look if you don't wash them for a year. Okay, so they might be a bit stinky, but um, you know, apart from that, if you wanted to wash them, I would always recommend hand washing them rather than putting them in a washing machine. However, you will find the instructions here for 40 degrees, don't iron, and you know how to wash them themselves. So what they're made of, um, they got several different layers to themselves. So you see that actually the lining itself is made of polyamide, then this filling here is actually made of SPR and neoprene, and also the cover itself is also made of polyamide. So in case you're allergic of any to those, you know, I mean, don't get them, right? And yeah, that is basically how they look. Now you can also get other rebounds um, which are actually supporting the knee a bit more and also um, ones which are a bit more sturdy. I mean, take your pick, that is up to you on how you feel for them and this is how they look. Okay guys, so why use knee sleeves? So here I have my leg, right, just to explain the whole thing. And you see here I got my thigh, here I got the upper part of my leg and where all the muscles sit. Now the thing is, you might want to get as big as you can possibly get. You know, you might be, be as big as Jason Kalipa or Arnold Schwarzenegger. But if you look at all of the bodybuilders, you know, you don't actually have any muscles around your knee. Now this is where the knee sleeves come into place because if you're actually getting 300 kilograms on your back to do some squats, you know, you don't really want this area to be exposed and to, um, and to snap. And you also see that in powerlifting competitions they don't even just use the sleeves but they also use um, even, you know, even knee wrapping which is really so tight that, you, that they actually have to use a prong to get it into place. So this is why you should use knee sleeves, just to protect the areas that won't strengthen because there is no uh, muscle tissue around that area when you are doing heavier exercises, right? So here you can see the knee sleeve in comparison to my knee actually and also how it relates to my leg. So from a size perspective, you know, what you can take away from this, I am 85 kilograms and I am 185 centimeters high. And, um, you know, I got rather small thighs 
and I got the Ray-Bans actually in size M. You can see that here and they actually fit quite well. So here you see actually my thighs at the thickest point are about 15 inches. That would be roughly 40 centimeters. Now guys, for slightly above the knee, it is 16 inches or around 40 to 41 centimeters. Okay, so there you see, you know, around also here 16 inches or 40 to 41 centimeters. I mean, let's not get too worked up around like one or two centimeters or inches because I personally like to all of my equipment to be very snug and very tight um because you know they will give in anyway for over the over the lifetime of the thing so rather get something a size down and a bit more tight than a size up and then it's not really snug and thin. so now how to put the ray bands on i mean that is pretty straightforward you just get them and this is a size m for a 15 to 16 inch area here as i've shown you you just pull them up right over the knee okay where it just like fits you want the emblem to be slightly above the knee itself and you know i mean it might uh, vary from individual to individual and that is how you put them on for my warm-up sets what i like to do is just push them over like this so that i have a, like a half wrap here um, and also that they're not flying about now if i don't want them to have any impact on the leg whatsoever i actually pull them down just below the, th the thigh like this so that they're like you know have a bit of room to play around with and when do i usually get them on get them on you know just when you start uh, your session before you actually get the weightlifting shoes on because otherwise it will be a bit of hassle to get them on and off um, so yeah so that's that about the rayban sleeves now if you want to buy them if you go to the rayban website themselves they will actually divert you to some of their retailers so you actually can't buy from them directly and what i've seen is that they're currently quite commonplace in scandinavia and there's also in the shop in the us because they're just heavily into the crossfit um, community at the moment and um, they will put you back roughly 30 to 50 euros depending on what kind of size and color you get and what kind of thickness you get um, but it's definitely worth an invest worth the investment I mean I'm using them now for a year you can check out my other uh, videos on the channel where I'm actually using them and you know I'm very very happy with them I'm glad that I got them and I think that is some kind of equipment if you take lifting serious you should get it if you think that is for um, you know for weaklings be my guest, you know, I personally like to protect the areas where I can't develop any muscle to protect it myself because, you know, if it snaps, then you have an injury for life. So, I mean, that is that about the Weber knee sleeves. I hope you enjoyed this. Share it, comment, you know, subscribe if you think this was helpful for your purchase or uh, for your general experience. And thank you very much for showing up here at Marathon CrossFit. Bye-bye.